Hey guys, um, we're back for the NL wildcard, um, and so let's get right into it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, ALDS one. Um, so yeah, um, so our first matchup we have the Dodgers and the Brewers, the Brew Crew. Um, you know, the Brewers really squeezed themselves in at the last minute. Um, you know, they went 30 and 30, I think. Not even, yeah. Not, not, they may have even gone like 29 and 31. Um, but this last spot in the NL was kind of a joke. Um, you know, I mean, the Blue Jays are a legit team at number eight. They're, they're like a decent team. The Brewers are not. Um, you know, the Woodruff's a number one. He's an ace. But after that, I mean, you've got Corbin Burns. You've got, I can't even name these guys. Like, they have Corbin Burns. Um, who are their other starters? I, I'm sorry, but, like, I can't even. You know, like, it's just the Brewers starters. Um, Brett Anderson from the A's. Uh, they have another guy who I keep trying to think of. Um, I mean, their bullpen's pretty good. They had that one rookie who, like, broke out. Um it's Freddie Perot. Um, oh, how is Adrian Hauser. That's it. Adrian Hauser. Um, and then Josh Lindbaum. Like, just a bunch of random guys. Woodruff is a legit number one starter. But after that, it's just a big old drop-off on starting pitching for the Brewers. Um, and then their lineup is just, like, so mediocre. Like, Kane isn't on their team anymore. So, like, their leadoff hitter is Avisail Garcia, who's hitting, like, 234. He's a good player, all right? Don't get me wrong. Like, he's a good player. But he's not a leadoff hitter, one. And two, like, Avisail Garcia hitting leadoff? Ugh. Um, you know, then they have Jerko hitting third. Yelich will hit second. And Yelich has not had a good year. Um, you know, one of the best players in baseball. But he's hitting, like, 217 this year. Um and then you got Jed Jerko hitting third. Who would have thought Jed Jerko is hitting third for the Brewers? I mean, I think he was like a waiver wire player maybe for them. Um, then you got Vogie, Daniel Vogelbach, the big man um, who will be, who's batting, oh, it's good. Who's, um, who's batting third. Um, so, uh, you know, that's it for the, sorry, I don't know why this gets going. Um, and then, you know, you've got Kira, Sorry about that. You've got Hira hitting around fifth, and he has not had a good season at all. Uh, I think he's hitting like 230, maybe lower than that, and I know he's struck out a ton. Um, Omar Navarro's great defensive catcher, but not a good offensive player. Um, I know they got Jace Peterson in the mix somewhere there, um, who's taken over for Lorenzo Cain, who opted out. Um, RC has had a good year, so I'm happy about that. You know, I think he's a good player. I think he has a lot of potential. Um, but, you know, the guys I'm naming, you know, you should get the overall, like, the, the guys who are supposed to be good for the Brewers, like, Yelich, Hira, Smoke is on their team, too, and I don't know what's, what's up with him. Um, he might be on the DL, honestly. Uh, but, um, you know, the guys that are supposed to be good, and Urias is in that mix, too. Oh, I forgot about Ryan Braun. Yeah, he's also at the top of their lineup. But the bottom line is, the guys who are supposed to be good for the Brewers this year aren't that good. Um, Yelich has not had a good year. Hero hasn't had a good year. Braun hasn't been that great. Or, uh, Garcia's okay. You know, so they just had a very, um, you know, down year. But they're in the postseason. And, <laughs> you know, they're playing the Dodgers. So maybe you can win game one with Woodruff just because, like, he's really good. Um, and they do have a good bullpen with Hayter. Um, and they have that other guy, and I can't remember what his name is, but he's like a rookie, and he had like a really good season. Um, Devin Williams, that's it. So, you know, they have a good bullpen, um, but, you know, you're going up against the Dodgers. Offensive juggernaut, you know, you got Betts, Muncie, Peterson, Turner, Seager. Kike Hernandez, A.J. Pollock, Will Smith. I mean, this is just a team that's going to score a ton of runs. And the Brewers can't score a lot of runs with their lineup. They don't score runs. Um, so, and not only that, but the Brewers are going to face, like, Walker Bueller, Kershaw, Dustin May, Urias. Um, 
an insane Dodger bullpen. Like, so the Brewers have no chance. Do not take the Brewers in any bracket. Uh, 2-0 Dodgers. It could maybe go three games if they win with Woodruff game one, um, which I wouldn't be surprised. Woodruff is nasty, like I said before. But there's no way they win two games against the Dodgers. No way. Um, so that's that for round one with the Dodgers. Uh, Padres Cardinals. Um, I'll try to be unbiased here. Uh, one, I hate the Cardinals. I just think, I don't hate the Cardinals. I just think they're a very boring team. They have no one like exciting at all on their team, like at all, literally. Um, Matt, you know, and I love the Padres. Obviously, you know, I predicted them to make the playoffs this year. They're my second favorite team. I like a lot of players on their team. Um, breaking it down matchup wise, you know, you probably have Paddock game one. Lamette is unsure. We're unsure if Lamette's going to be able to pitch. He hurt his elbow. Uh, we're unsure if Clevenger's going to pitch. So it's most likely will be Davies game two. And then hopefully Lamette or Clevenger can pitch game three if needed. And then looking at the Cardinals, you'll probably have Wainwright pitch a game, Flaherty, obviously, and then Hudson or, you know, one of those other guys they have. Um, where's the other guy they have? Dakota Hudson, whatever. Um, the Cardinals also have a very mediocre lineup compared, compared to the Padres. Um, and very shaky at closer. Uh, I think Miller, Andrew Miller's their closer right now. Ooh, is he shaky? Um, they have Galagos, Galagos. Um, they have another decent... Let me look at the Cardinals bullpen real fast. I just don't know that much about the Cardinals. Like, I do know a lot about the Cardinals in terms of their lineup. I just don't know a lot about their bullpen. Um, to be honest. Oh, Gomber's another star for them. Yeah, they have Galagos, Genesis, Cabrera, and then Alex Reyes is okay too. So bullpen's all right. And then the lineup is just like the most boring lineup on earth. I mean, seriously, like Colton Wong, boring. Tommy Edmond, boring. Goldschmidt, Dylan Carlson's hit like 189. He's a rookie. Um, Molina, you know, I mean, just so old. Uh, De Young, I thought was going to have a good year, and he really didn't. Um, you know, no offense to Paul De Young. Um, thought he was going to break out this year, and he didn't. Uh, Fowler, Bader, Tyler O'Neill, like pretty mediocre lineup compared to the Padres. You got Grisham probably leading off, Hosmer, Machado, Cronenworth, uh, Nola, Myers, Profar. Don't know who else I'm missing. Um, but you know, solid line for the Padres, and then the bullpens. And the bullpens honestly are probably like about even, um, you know, in my honest opinion. So this is like a true four or five matchup because it's Padres have the advantage offensively, Cardinals have the advantage starting pitching wise, I think, and then the bullpens are even. So it'll be interesting to be honest. Um, I hope the Padres win, and since the Padres have more offense, I'll probably just take the Padres. Um, you know, that's just the safer bet, um, and their starting pitching will be like shaky going into this um a lot of it also depends on how paddock pitches game one if they win game one against flaherty or wainwright um you know they, they'll they're gonna win the series um so and maury hone might start a game too so no we'll see but i guess i'll go padres in three um but you know the cardinals could easily win this series um and but they'll lose the dodgers second round so it doesn't matter padres probably will lose the Dodgers too but you know we'll see um moving on to our 3-6 we've got the Marlins and the Cubs um the Cubs impressive year this year man I really wish I picked them to win uh win the division like I did in my first video um you know they they've gotten Darvish has had a fantastic year Hendricks has been all right um that rookie's been okay Lester has not been great um let me look at John Lester's stats. Um, but Hendricks has been pretty good. Yeah, Hendr Lester has not been that good. Hendricks has been good. Um, Hugh Darvish has been great. Um, the lineup overall has been pretty good. Um, Bryant hasn't had a good year. But besides that, pretty good. Uh, bullpen is held together. That's all I can say about the Cubs. 
Um, reason why I didn't take them coming around second time is because their bullpen was so bad, but it is held together and that's that. Um, in terms of the Marlins, uh, really impressed on how they score runs. Um, you know, they have, they've got some really good acquisitions that they, that they had. Um, they had VR for a little bit, great pickup from the Orioles. Um, Aguilar's been good for them. He sucked for the Rays and he sucked for the Brewers after that all-star year. And he's been good for them. Um, Marte, good acquisition. Dickerson, great, Corey Dickerson, great acquisition. Um, and then, you know, they've kind of just had those guys who they've had for a while, you know, with like Monte Harrison, um, Alfaro, uh, Brian Anderson, Garrett Cooper, you know, and they've, they've scored runs, scored a lot of runs. Um, and then their rotation's been good. I mean, I think Alcantara started out kind of shaky, but then got better. Um, they traded Caleb Smith, but he gave him some good starts. Um, Pablo Lopez has been good. Uh, God, who, are, who are their other starters? And, I mean, so for them, game one, game one will probably be like Darvish, Al I don't even know who's going to start game one for the Marlins, to be honest. Marlins starting pitchers. Because the Marlins don't really have a, an ace also. That's the thing. Um, oh, yeah, they have six though. I forgot about six though. yeah. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess um, Alcantara will probably pitch game one. Sixto will definitely pitch a game, and then probably Pablo Lopez game three um, versus Darvish, Hendricks, Lester maybe. I don't know. He's great in the playoffs. Um, for me, it's the, the, the offensive advantage for – I mean, this is a pretty even series to be honest because the Cubs' bullpen sucks. Um if the Marlins can score runs against this quality pitching, they can definitely win. Um, they definitely can. Uh, you know, so, I mean, honestly, like, may honest, I may honestly just take the Marlins in this in three games. Um, they're consistent. Uh, kinsler has been great for them in the bullpen. Like, they have a good bullpen. Um, and, like, they can score runs. Um so it's honestly a toss-up, really. Um, and I'll take the Marlins in three games. Uh, you know I also hate the Marlins, so it's hard for me to do this. But, you know, honestly, I'll gamble. Sometimes the lower seeds have to win. This is a toss-up. I'll take the Marlins. Um, then our last series, we have got the Braves. Um, and the Reds. Um, interesting for the Reds, man. You know, like I was, I was talking about in our last video, like, haven't gotten good production from the lineup. Simple as that. Like, Castellanos, Moustakis, Vado, Suarez, all hitting, like, below 225, which is not good. Um, Akiyama, a little bit of a disappointment. Um, and then their, their bullpens come around, And but the main thing about them is you're going to have to face Bauer, Gray, Castillo in, you know, in a, in a three-game series, which is a nightmare. Um, Atlanta game one will probably be, um, probably game one for Atlanta will be probably, oh man, I don't even know who's going to pitch game one for them. Like, it will be like Ian Anderson, Tommy Malone, um, I don't think Kyle Wright will pitch a game for them. Maybe Hamels will pitch a game for them. Um, you know? But kind of uncertain about the starting pitching for the Braves. Their bullpen is good, so you know, there's that. Um, I can't take the Reds in this series just because their their bats are just too inconsistent. Um, if Atlanta's starting pitching, oh, and they've got that guy, the lefty. What's his name? For, uh, Max Freed. Yeah, he, he'll, so it'll be like Freed, Ian Anderson, Tommy Malone, or God. Let me go to. The, the Braves start or like Cole Hamels I don't think the the Reds will be able to score enough runs to beat the Braves um I mean I don't know it's it's interesting like maybe the Reds could win because like the Reds like don't have a good lineup but they don't need to score that many runs to win because their starting pitching is going to be lights out the whole time um man 
I mean, honestly, I might go with the Reds in three. Um, just because, like, Bauer, Greg Castillo, like, that's just lockdown. And their bullpen's pretty... The Reds' bullpen has come around, in my opinion. Um, whereas it's a little less inconsistent, you know, moving over to the Braves' side of things for starting pitching. Um, and, you know, I... I and their bullpen's okay. So, you know, honestly, I'll go Reds in three. Why not? Why not? Um, you know, I'll go Reds in three for this. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment below any, you know, any disagreements, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. Um, and please subscribe if you can. Comment, like, blah, blah, blah. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it.